How to do IP addressing in NetBox the functional way. You're gonna to wanna to watch this even if you're a planner. The reason that I say that is because you're gonna get value from this, even if you're like, I'm planned to the T, I never you know, configure a device and then add it to NetBox. I'm always you know, planning ahead. Two, two reasons. One, you're going to see in this video how we can link the two together, right? How we link the IP addresses to the devices, but it also, as you watch what I do here, will get you inside of the mind of the engineer that you have to work with. You know, the guy sitting down the hall from you that you're like, oh, James, he's so annoying, right? Always just kind of jumping into the situation. Those, those engineers have value. Uh, they're just, they're just not, I mean, they're, they're quick on their feet. They're good on their feet. They're good in reactive situations. Not so good when you tell them, go plan that project. They'll probably be playing online games until the day before, and then they'll, then they'll plan it. Right? So, so nonetheless, it'll help, help pass some understandings. Here's the idea. The engineer has already done <laughs> the, the, the deployment, right? There, there's no plan. They kind of went, they got they got the router installed, excuse me. They, they've got it configured and now they're like, oh yeah, I've got to document that because my manager told me. They are coming under here into the device. They're like, okay, I'm going to add this router in there, for example. They would add it right then, right? Then they'd go down to the interfaces and you can see that these are the interfaces we marked before when I was showing you how to connect cables. Now you can add IP addresses from here. Right? So for example, notice these plus signs will take you right to the IP address for the device. Um, and this is where you can now add a new IP. This is the reactive engineer, right? They're the one that's going in and saying, I'm going to add this IP address to the device. Let's just say this is 10.16.1. Uh, let's say 0 0.1, right? Slash 24. Um, this is, you know, it's going to be assigned to this. This will be the primary IP address for the device or virtual machine. Um, I'll show you what that does in just a second. And I click on create. Okay, bam, done. So they're, they're working. Let me go back here to this, this uh, strategy right here. They're working it from the bottom up. They, they're at the device. They just assigned the interface, went, went and created an IP address from there. And then once they have that, they'll be like, oh yeah, I guess that goes into a prefix. I guess I'm supposed to because my manager told me to add all the prefixes, right? And they'll eventually get to the aggregates. It's fine. It's fine to go that way. And, and maybe you're that engineer. I would say it's probably in, in, in my, my personal experience, about 80% of the world is engineers like that. Like, let's just dive in. 20% are like the, okay, let's plan this thing out before we get there, right? So <clears throat> now back to NetBox. Bring this up right here. Um, so notice we've assigned this IP address. And one of the things I, I want to hugely communicate to you right here, IP addresses are assigned to interfaces, not to devices. So I'm going to go here. Let's just say the second interface of this is 10.16.1.1, all right, slash 24. Uh, router port two, um, and I'll click on create, right? As I'm doing this, I'm actually creating IP address, IP addresses in this IPAM area, right? If I click on this, I can notice that this is already assigned to the devices. I've got all these other ones that I added from the previous video when I, when I went in and added, you know, from a CSV file and so on and so forth. So, so a lot of people get frustrated because they're like, okay, I'm going to go to a device. Let's just go to one of them, right? Um, and I see switch three. And they, they, they look and they're like, okay, you know, where, I'm going to edit it, right? Where, okay, where, where do I assign the IP? Oh, oh, hey, there it is. Uh, what, huh? Do I, is this like a search? What? Why, why is that not working? You assign IP addresses to interfaces, not to devices. That's the device, right? So if we want to assign it, we need to come down here to an interface. Let's just say this is, well, you know, maybe we would go in here and add uh, typically on a switch, I would say this is the VLAN one interface. It's a virtual interface. Create. I've added that now as, as my you know virtual interface, and I would go in here and say now I can assign the IP. This is where I would go. You know, let me search my my ten addresses. Oh, okay, that's going to be the switch on the subnet, right? Click on make that the primary IP address for the device and hit update. Now I see that showing up. I know I'm going fast, but I see that showing up as the primary IPv4 address assigned to that switch, right? Because it's not assigned to the switch. It's assigned to the VLAN interface of the switch. And I happen to elect that as the primary role, right? This is the engineer's mindset. I'm assigning IP addresses to the device. And this, by the way, this will be fun for them. It's fun for me because I'm the engineer, right? I like going in there. I'm like, ooh, 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 ooh. And then you're like, okay. Now what? That's when you come back here to the IP address management and you're like, okay, 
prefix. Oh, I got to do this thing, right? And that's where you'll start going in and, and adding the prefix that actually contains, you know, these were added from before, but typically from the engineering's mindset, this would all be deleted. It'd be blank. There'd be nothing here. And they would come in and they would add, you know, the prefixes kind of as a, oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. We've got to, we've got to add all these things in to make this a viable system. And without management in place, they will quickly forget about Netbox and go about their configurating business. Uh, not, to, not to keep slamming the engineer mindset, but I, I emphasize that because I know a lot of you that are listening to me right now really want to use Netbox for your organization. Know that it's not just going to be like one of those, you, you show people, look at Netbox. They'll probably be like, oh, that's cool, right? And nothing will happen. Netbox is all about process and discipline to make sure that this thing stays up to date. So much, so much more I could say about the mindset of Netbox, but that is how the engineers typically approach it. Again, from the device level up rather than the aggregate level down. It's that simple.